Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make something like a health regeneration system. So a health spell. For that you have to go into Kismet. Whoops, into Kismet. Right click. New event. Input. Key button press. Because now we want to add a key. So I will choose. Um, let's say. R. So go into, go into the plus type in R, then right click onto the input name, create new string variable and type in at str value R and var name R. Ok, now right click, new action, actor, attach to actor, because now we want to attach our particular system to the actor. So connect the press just in and go into your content browser. Here you have to choose any particular system you like. Just place it near the player start, or exactly to the player start. We'll do that now. Must be very exactly, because yeah, then you will see it out later. Um, okay, think this is good. Okay, now we right click into the kismet and new object we are using mid to five. So add your particular system to Kismet. Connect it with the attachment and now we have to set a variable. So right click, new variable, player, player. Because now we say Kismet that it should attach this to our player. So connect it with the target. Here at the players, you have to deselect the all players. Because we just want that we heal us when pressing Q. You can also select all players, then you heal all players when you press Q. Uh, R. R, 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 sorry. Okay. Now right click, new action, toggle, toggle. Connect the out is the turn on, and the target is the emitter system. So now this is the particular system. So when we press R, a particular system will appear. Now we have to double click onto the emitter or to the particular system, and deselect the auto activate. And try it out. Okay. Game mode. With the deathmatch and try it out. Let's press R. And you see nothing happens. Okay. Then we have to choose another key. So we'll choose Q. This here, this here. And try it out. And now we see it appears. Let's do behind view. Whoops. Behind view, and here it is. It's a little bit behind us because our particular system in the in the editor window is also behind the player start a little bit. So you have to place it more exactly to the player start. Let's do it like this here. Put it a little bit up and try it out. Okay, now is here. Now it's directly on the player. Okay, that's good. Now we'll add the health. So go into Kismet, right click, new action, actor, modify health, connect this with the pressed, and the target is the player. Now click onto the modify health, and here you can choose your amount, so let's say 5. And here at the heal, and you have to select the heal, so this here. Okay, now when you press Q, it heals us 10 health, or 5 health, to the player. Now we have to copy this, let's say three times, connect out is the in, and put in a delay, because we want that it heals us the health in let's say two seconds. So every two seconds we get five health. To do that, click onto the out, right click, um, set active delay, and type in two. And here, type in two. So now every two seconds it held, it heals us five health. Okay. Now click on the to the key button pressed. And here at re-trigger delay, you have to choose your re-trigger delay. So let's say five seconds. So in five seconds we can press this key again and we we get the health again. Okay. Now I will make a little trigger. You don't have to do this now, I just do it to show you if it if it has worked. So try it out. Um, here. 
trigger using touch. Then we have to choose a modify health. Touched. Then we want to lose 70 health. We connect the target with the player. Okay, try it out. Now we lose the health. 30. Now we press Q. And you see? 35, 40, 45. Now 5 seconds are gone. And I can press it again. 60. You see, it is a little bit away. That's because you have to really attach this to your player. It must be really exactly on the player. Because just then it works. Okay, that's it how to make a health regeneration system. And yeah, hopefully we will see us again later.